She's been legally dead for 28 days, but a Branton family is hoping they can keep their loved one on life support just a little bit longer. I'm Christina Howard outside of the Brampton Courthouse, where a Branton family is fighting to keep Takesha McKitty on life support. They're seeking a third court injunction to stop the hospital from pulling the plug, at least until they can conduct more tests. Every time the nurses handle her, to move her, to give her new medications, she moves. And it's not a little twitch, it's not a little um, toe extension, it's her whole body's moving. When they're adjusting her, she's moving. They have to reposition her. Sometimes her, she moves, her legs come off the bed. They're the videos that just won't go away. Takesha McKitty moving her legs, toes, torso, weeks after being declared brain dead at Brampton Civic Hospital. Good girl. The court heard from Dr. Omar Hayani, the physician that signed Takesha's death certificate, that all the movements are in keeping with the spinal reflexes phenomenon, although he admitted he didn't witness or document them. The court also heard that Takesha has started bleeding vaginally. Dr. Andrew Healy concedes that menstruation ultimately requires some level of brain function, but he wouldn't confirm that she was actually menstruating. We would not test for that, he told the court. There are no definitive tests, to my knowledge, to tell you if this is menstruation or not. Both doctors claim that the diagnosis of death was done in line with the Canadian Medical Association Journal's practices and protocols, namely that neurologically determined death be defined as the irreversible loss of the capacity for consciousness combined with the irreversible loss of all brainstem functions, including the capacity to breathe. The family claims that because she is still breathing with a ventilator and showing some signs of brain activity, they should be allowed to conduct a 72-hour test, filming her movements to assess if they are true signs of consciousness. I don't think that there was enough tests done to be able to determine that she was uh, already deceased. I feel like she, she could have gotten some more tests done to be able to determine more, have some more time. I think it was just done too quickly. The case resumes tomorrow. In Brampton, Christina Howorn, City News.